Good afternoon. Right, I've got a bit of spare time today, so I'm going to just show a few roundups of things I've found. Uh, starting with World War II items which I've found. There's a lot of people out there who keep asking if I can sell any of the World War II things, uh, saying they want them. So this is your chance. I'm going to show you them all, uh, and then I'm going to tell. Well, basically, to buy them. Okay, if you want a packet, a box, should I say, a small box of things, um, the delivery I believe is eight euros ninety cents. Uh, you'll have to convert that to your country. Um, for a smaller packet, I don't know, maybe three euros, I don't know. So that's what you're looking at postage wise. Um, anything I do send out, I'll warn you now, I'm not going to take responsibility if if it goes missing in the post or it gets seized by customs or whatever because it's ammunition or whatever. Um, so that's a risk you'd have to take. So basically if there's anything you like here, um, just send me a message on YouTube or Facebook, Deep Digger Dan. Uh, tell me the number of the item that you're interested in because I'm going to put numbers on, on the picture slideshow at the end of this video. Just tell me the number and what it is you're interested in, what you're willing to pay for it, and I'll get back in touch with you. Uh, I'll, I'll give it maybe a week for everyone to have a look at the video and get in touch if they want to buy something. And then I'll let you know. So here we go, I'll just show you a quick roundup of what we've got and then a slideshow to finish with. Okay, here we go. We've got two gas masks. Now, none of them are complete. Um, they're in pretty bad shape to be honest, but they are gas masks. Um, so two of them. This, I, I believe, must be one of them in the middle there, look. Slightly different design, but same size, so that must be the middle of a gas mask. Again, that's the breathing part of a gas mask, like you see there. Um, I don't know what this is. But obviously had, it had bullets in the middle of it. I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, ammunition, right, here we go. One, two, three, all these here. I don't know anything about ammunition. I'm not going to pretend I do. Um, I don't even know if all this stuff on this table is World War II. I'm just presuming it is. Um, but you've got this ammunition here. It's all safe. You know, this isn't live ammunition. I wouldn't send any live ammunition out. Um, but yeah, just to, for scale there, there's my finger. So you'll have an idea how big these things are. That's the bigger items I've got. Um, and then we've got these. Now these are off... Mm. <laughs> that is off an incendiary bomb. Uh, basically a, a fire bomb if you like. They were designed to land and cause big fires I believe. Uh, usually big cylinder sized things. I have found big live ones before. Uh, but that's just the end of one. And these things, I believe, were fired out of shell, uh, out of tanks. Two of them. That is just a part of one of them. Uh, with lots of things here. Now, I don't know if these are World War II or not, uh, but you might have a better idea. Just something here with holes in it. This is a, a little container inside, I believe. I think there's some kind of cream in there. Um... I'm not entirely sure. Then we've got these like bottle tops, four of them. Uh, whether they're off soldiers' canteens or whatever, I'm not sure. But I'm, I do think they are World War Two. No idea what that is. You know, if anyone has any ideas and can tell me what some of these are, I'd like to know. Uh, and then you've just got a few bits here. I don't know, just a round piece of metal with some kind of name or something inscribed in that one. Shrapnel. Now, shrapnel, I know I've had some interest in these two pieces here. Sorry, this isn't focusing very well. But these top two, I've got uh, the German Eagle on with the Schwarz sticker underneath. Uh, that one actually says 1943 on it and a serial number. 
So them two are quite good. That one's also got some kind of number on it. Lots of different bits here. Um, now whether any, th I don't know if that's off a drink or a hand grenade. Um, don't know if that's off a hand grenade. I really don't know. But just so you can look through and see if there's anything you like there. I'm, I'm not just doing this to sell them. I'm doing it as a roundup for my benefit. Um, I'd like to see my full collection on video. So uh, one of the better finds I've had. There you go, dog tag. Not in bad condition, really. I've not cleaned any of these things up properly. Um, you can do that. <laughs> I just haven't got the time. Now, some kind of lid there. Uh, whether it's off an ammunition box or what, I don't know. With the number 23 on it. Uh, a few 303s and various other bullets and bullet uh, bullet shells and tips. Again, I don't know if they're World War II or not. I found hundreds of these, but I haven't kept them all. I wish I had have done now. Because uh, I didn't realise there were people out there who actually wanted to collect them. Uh, three buttons. Now that one, I believe, if I can find it. Where are we? I believe that's off a shoulder pad type thing from an officer. Just made of plastic, I think. It just feels like plastic. Um, but two pronged metal thing underneath. And these, I'm not sure again, but I think they're off uh, officers' uniforms, off the cuffs. But again, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, coins, plenty of coins. Now I will say, none of these are in fantastic condition. These here are in reasonable condition. These you can't even make anything out on them. But I know they're all World War Two because I think they're made of zinc. And they just rot away. Um, but yeah, all these here, I've got detail on them. You can make out things on them. Them you can't. But they are World War II coins. And then I've just thrown these three things on. Now these are World War I. Um, well, I believe... Sorry, I believe the World War I. This, I believe, is World War I cap badge. Uh, quite nice. This is uh, an Austrian World War I medal. Got 1914 to 1918 on the back. And on there it says for, for Austria basically. For Ostrich. And this is probably my best military find. Um, this is pre World War I. Um, I would. I'm estimating from what I've been researching on it, it's before 1900. Um, and it's uh, it hangs off the belt of a, off a soldier. And the drum hangs off the bottom. Now there's two sizes to this. This is the smaller one. Now I, th I believe the other one actually hangs the drum. And this one might hold the drum sticks. Alright, because I, I just can't see. I don't know. I can't see how that holds a drum at the bottom. I don't know. Well, it's definitely a drum holder or drumstick holder, and it hung off the belt, made out of brass. It will clean up very nicely, but I personally think it looks good like that. Um, they sell for quite a bit on, on eBay. Um, I'm quite reluctant, to be honest, to sell them three items, so it'd have to be a good bid if anyone wants any of them. But yeah, that's my World War II collection. Um, I did also find uh, an oxygen tank, a pilot's oxygen tank from a plane uh, which I've, I'm giving away when I, I'm, I'm going to go collect it in the next few days I'm going to be giving that away to my friend Ollie. Um but yeah that is my entire collection not massive admittedly I have thrown bits away stupidly um, but yeah I would prefer them to be in the hands of a collector someone who would appreciate things like this um, the German authorities don't see don't look too kindly on people having things like this in the homes. So I'd, per I'd prefer to get rid of it all. So if anyone's interested, there's a slideshow coming up now um, of the items. Just make me any bids if you're interested. And the highest bidders, I will let you know in, in a week, something like that. Okay, here comes the slideshow.
So there you have it, uh, 19 lots, I believe there is, 19 sets of items I've put on there. You can either bid on them separately or bid, a, bid on them as an entire collection, it's up to you. Um, but I have to take into consideration, I'd, I'd like to split this up amongst a few people, you know, let a few people appreciate them, so... If you're going to make a bid on the full amount, it's going to have to be a good bid because I'd, I'd rather sell them for less money and let a few people appreciate them than have them to one person. Um, now, for the full collection, the postage would probably still be €8.90. Euros 90 cents. Um, the postage depends on weight and I think it's up to 4 kilograms or something. I don't think this entire collection will come to that, so... For the entire collection, eight euros ninety. Um, anyway, I'll leave you with that. I'm gonna crack on and make another video now. My next one's gonna be on lead toy soldiers, toy toy uh, lead toys basically. I've got them all ready here. So I hope you appreciate this video. Um, as I say, I'm not doing it to sell everything. I'm doing it because I want to put everything together in a collection to make a video for myself. I'm not too bothered about having the items, I'm bothered about having the memories, if you like. So, now I've got it on a video, I'm happy. I've got the video to last me forever, so... If they go, if, if anyone buys them, that's up to you. I, I don't mind, as long as I've got the memories, which I now have. And I'm sorry, there's no humour in my video today, there's not going to be humour in these videos these are serious videos right i'll see you soon next video there might be another one in half a day one day selling something else so um i'll keep you posted see you soon bye bye